Do you know why you cheated? I do know why. Because some people don't know why they cheated. They cheat and they just think, oh, well, well I'm just cheating. No, I know, I know why. And, yeah, at, I and, at, I and at the time, I wasn't... Uh, I mean, <laughs> that wasn't why I did. But that was... Uh, I mean, I know why I did. But there are some people out there when you ask, have you cheated? And they say yes. And you say, well, why did you cheat? Well, I don't know. I did. They don't know why they did it. Well, or they want to blame it on alcohol. Oh, I was drinking. I, don't no, think I wasn't drinking. Think that's an excuse. I was more so. I was more cheating. Uh, like uh, instead of just like fooling around and things like that, more um, well, one because it had turned into a long distance relationship, and two, um, Terry at the time was she would do anything. Like, we would do the radio show, she would do the show, she was into filming, she was in the things that I needed someone to be in. But was she into things because of you or because that's something she wanted to do? I mean, um, you know, because I think a lot of people, when they're trying to get someone in a good name, they will do whatever it is they need to do to impress that person or make that person feel good. I think that's what it was originally, but after knowing her for a while... She, I mean, you heard her on the show. She she seemed to enjoy the show. You heard us get into the sh- get into it on the show. I did. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> but a lot of the things in the show, I would. And this is where people don't really understand. And I wanted to pull this back as well because a lot of people think now that I am an actual jerk and that Amos is an actual anus. Well, he may. I'm just kidding, Amos. Well, I don't you're know not. Anus. Who you portrayed to be? It's because so, it's a show. It's, right. it's a show. So I, mean, I don't know Amos, so I can't say the same thing for him. It, I don't know him. They they have a script sort of. So where well, it was kind of like in 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 season two, we were talking about where uh, Jeremiah is going to play a certain. He's playing himself, but he's playing himself as a certain character. Same thing with me. Same thing we do uh, on this show as well. So it's like you can base it on. You can Mm-hmm. And I'm sure a lot of the, the folks out there also think that. Um, but yeah, that's why I, I did cheat. Because I did hang out with Terry for a long time before we actually had sex. I mean, for over a year. But I did meet her on the Big Booty Show. You did. You know. But that's, you know. We were doing a show. She ha- she just happened to, We didn't tell her to come in. We invited girls with big booties. If you want to come in, you're welcome. She came in. She's stick thin now because I make girls anorexic. <laughs> no, she has went through problems. Um, she has went through, you know, problems with her weight being, because she was... Um, and I didn't mean that in a bad way. Right, right. I'm saying the, the, the things that I have, you know, the pictures I've seen of her, she is stick very, thin. very, thin. Yeah, she's really thin, but she, she was... Um, well, Jeremiah had seen her. You've seen her... Uh, a regular weight, a regular nice weight, and you've seen her super thin. Yeah, I've seen the, the yin and yang. Yeah, what is it? Yin and yang. Well, I only got to see the super thin version yeah. of her. Because I don't know her personally, so that's just an outsider. Yeah, looking in. Looking in. Yeah. I saw the full spectrum. So. <laughs> but Jeremiah would even know. One time we were filming, we were filming some of the stuff, and we needed her character mm-hmm. to, to take her pants off because we were in bed. And she would come to the door and answer the door. That's how she would do it. Terry did it with no reservations, did she? Nope. And it wasn't like, oh, we're trying to sexualize her because we weren't. We, that's the scene. I had my pants off in one of the scenes. Did I not? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, so. I had forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think I'll on that sometimes. I mean, because you see movies these days and TV shows. People are naked and, and showing themselves all the time. They are. So I think when it's in that kind of context, I don't feel like it's sexualized in any way because if the person that's filming is comfortable in that role, Mm -hmm. I don't think you're sexualizing anybody. No. And also, um, I've noticed it a lot that um, the girls will say, they'll have like random comments saying like, don't slide into my DMs, things like that. You know, don't go and don't send random messages to my direct, direct messenger. However, when I have done it, I've never done it with the intention of. Whenever I've asked some of these women, 
I thought a good one, you know. I, I'd send it to Tara first for her to approve it. Of course. So, you know, that's she's my go-to. I have two people, Tara and someone else. And then when they give me the thumbs up, it's I'm good to go. <laughs> that being said, um, Aaron said he'll be the villain. So, um, what was I saying? Well, everybody needs a villain. So, kudos to Aaron. Yes. That being said, though, are you are you feeling tipsy at all? Jeremiah? Only because I've only eaten once today, and that was earlier before I spent the entire day Christmas shopping. I think these gummy bears are going to be very vodka-y because they're at the very bottom. <laughs> well, I, I actually saw on Facebook where they take this big, huge, ginormous gummy bear, mm -hmm. and they put it in a bowl, and then they take, like, I don't know, and I don't know the exact order, but they take the red gummy bears and maybe soak them in, like, Fireball, and then they take the green ones and soak them in vodka and, and so on and so forth with all the different colors and they take all of those gummy bears and put them on top of the big gummy bears and really then they pour um, maybe it's sprite or some kind of mm -hmm. lemony limey drink on top of those and then put it in a cup and so they're like spiked gummy bears so i think that's probably some type of thing you're going to encounter when you get to the bottom of that cup that might be delicious that might be it sounds very delicious absolutely. because me and you are going to be Gummy addicts. Yeah. Gummy aficionados. Yes. I don't know if Jeremiah... No.